Next, we have this question right here. It's asking, water is leaking out of an inverted inverted con conical tank at a rate of 10,000 centimeter per minute. At the same time, the water is being pumped into the tank at a constant rate. The tank has height of six meter and the diameter at the top is four meter. If the water level is rising at the rate of 20 centimeter per minute, then the height of the water is two meter. Find the find the rate at which water is water is being pumped into the tank. So let's see how we can solve this question. First of all, let's draw a picture to illustrate this question. So this is a conical tank. This is going to be something like this, right? Conical tank. And the information given up, they are saying is uh, the water is leaking at the rate of 10,000 centimeter cube per minute. So it means water is leaking through this, which is 10,000 centimeter cube per minute. Then we have, uh, and they are saying at the same time the water is uh, water is pumped into the tank at a constant rate. Let's say this is this is the water pumped into it, and let's say it's pumped into the rate of k. Then uh, they are saying the tank has height of six meter, so this height is six meter, and the diameter of the top is four meter. Therefore, the radius is going to be two meter. So this is my radius. Then uh, at the top is so diameter at the top is four meter. If the water level is rising at the rate of twenty centimeter per minute, so they are saying. So let's say this is the water level of this tank, and if this is uh, height, if I say height is h, and this is our radius. So first of all, uh, so they are saying rising at the level of 20 centimeter per minute. So I know dh by dd is going to be equal to 20 centimeter per minute. So that's the first information. Then they are saying then the height of the water is two meter find the rate at water is being pumped into the tank so they are giving this height h is equal to two meter and they are asking to find the rate at water is being pumped they are asking the k find the k so first of all we know so the so for the volume the total volume is going to be dv by dt so it's equal to 10,000 is being leaked. So we have to put negative for this one. So it's about negative 10,000. And K is constantly pumped and it's increasing, right? So it means plus K. So that's the volume. And DH by DT is given. Then we have, so first of all, we have to know what is the formula for the uh, volume of this conical shape. Well, for example, the general formula of, of volume of conical shape is uh, 1 by 3 pi r square h. So this is the general equation to find the volume. Then from this one, and we, we, we have dv by dt, we have dh by dt. But in this formula, if you see, we don't have dr by dt. So we have to eliminate this one. We don't have dr by dt. Therefore, we have to eliminate this one. So in, in this case, what I'm going to do is we have this so we have these two triangles with same angle right this big triangle triangle and the small triangle so I can make a connection with uh, H and the H and the uh, the small triangle and the bigger triangle so let's take this so if I take this big triangle so for example this is the height of the big triangle is 6 meter so if I take this one 6 divided by this small height it's h and this is the radius of the radius of the bigger triangle is 2 and the radius of the small triangle is r so if i make a relax relation between them r is going to be equal to r is going to be equal to 2 2 h over 6 so which is which comes out to be h over 3 now I can create a new equation 
by using this so it's going to be is equal to 1 over 3 phi instead of r square I put h by 3 square h so this is going to be 1 by 3 phi h square over 9 times h so it's going to be 1 by 3 phi h cube over 9 so this is my new equation h cube over 9 and we can multiply this 3 and 9 it's going to be 5 h cube over 27 so this is my formula now from this formula I can find the derivative of this formula if I find the derivative it's going to be dv by dt it's going to be equal to phi over well, phi over 27 remains the same then h cube the derivative of h is h cube is going to be 3 h square 3 h square then multiply by dh by dt we can cancel this 3 and 27 it's going to be 3 9 then so let's separate this one okay I continue this one here so dv by dt we already know it's minus 10,000 plus k plus k then we have h we have the height it's 2 meter so I can apply this height but we have to be careful here because the height is 2 meter uh, the unit we are using is centimeter so we have to multiply this by 100 so it's going to be 200 centimeter 200 centimeter therefore this is going to be 5 times 200 square times dh uh, dh by dt it's 20 centimeter per minute so if I multiply that I will get I, if I can solve for k k is going to be equal to 10,000 plus this is uh, 40,000 by times 2 80,000 times 20 is going to be 800,000 so 800,000 pi over 9 and if I solve this one I will get 289,252 289,252.68 and the answer is positive so this is increasing the height is increasing in the rate of increasing at the rate of rate of 289 252.68 centimeter cube per minute so this is my final answer I hope you guys like this video see you next time